Is gay marriage a civil right? This is Ken Ham on a mission to call the church back to God's Word. Western culture is rejecting the authority of God's Word and following opinions to make moral judgments. You know, this has never been more obvious than in the issue of same-sex marriage. In 1989, two young activists argued that society would never accept homosexual behavior in relationships, at least not based on a moral argument. Instead, they said that homosexual relationships should be considered a civil right. And from there, they changed the terms of the debate. We're seeing the impact of that claim today. Legal experts have argued that practicing homosexuals are a group of people being denied basic rights, and the majority of Americans agree but they're not correct. Join me this week for the answer. The revolution has happened. This is Ken Ham, author, speaker and blogger on trusting the Bible. Yesterday we learned that the debate over homosexual behaviour in America has changed from a moral issue to a civil rights one. And the revolution that came with this change has been incredibly successful. You see, advocates for same-sex marriage have taken advantage of legal arguments from the civil rights era to make their case. They falsely compared people's lack of acceptance for homosexual behavior with the evils of racial segregation. Now we've seen that homosexual behavior has been decriminalized and there's the inclusion of homosexuals in the military and same-sex marriage is becoming legalized. As America gives up the authority of God's word, People are doing what is right in their own eyes, just as the Bible said. Dear Mr. Jesus, I just had to write to you. Something really scared me when I saw it on. The Biblical Basis for Civil Rights This is Ken Ham, a publisher of the award-winning Answers magazine. What should Christians think about civil rights? Really, Christians should welcome the recognition of civil rights. You see, the very notion of these rights comes from a Christian worldview, the idea that man is made in the image of God. Secularists are trying to find an absolute basis of civil rights outside of God. 
but even the Declaration of Independence affirms that all men are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights. And you know, a better understanding of civil rights has helped us to address wrongs such as racial discrimination. Civil rights are actually good for society when they're founded on God's Word. So does a proper understanding of civil rights require the acceptance of same-sex marriage? No, it doesn't. We'll explain more tomorrow. When are civil rights wrong? This is Ken Ham, heading up the ministry building a full-sized Noah's Ark near Cincinnati. Yesterday we learned that civil rights actually have a biblical basis. You see, we don't want to deny anyone civil rights. If we did, it would violate the US Constitution and deny the rights granted by the Creator of the universe. But is same-sex marriage one of those rights? Actually, according to God's Word, the answer to that question is no. You see, laws about marriage always discriminate. Our current laws discriminate based on things like youth and gender. In fact, many other laws discriminate too, out of necessity. Is such discrimination wrong? Of course not. But you see, marriage, like human rights, existed before our laws. And God's Word clearly defines marriage as a man and a woman. 